Time for another fixing faulty eBay junk video and today I've got myself a couple of handheld consoles. I've got myself two Game Boy Advance SPs and I've taken a bit of a gamble, a bit of a risk with these and paid a bit more than I usually would have. I've paid $22.99 with $3.80 postage and that works out to be around, I think it's $38.50 which is far more than I usually pay for a couple of these systems especially considering one of them isn't even working but I have a suspicion that one of them, this one here, might be the backlit AGS 101 and if you don't know, the SP was released in two different versions, one with a backlit screen and one with a frontlit screen. The backlit version was released in much smaller quantities and only in certain regions of the world so it's harder to find, it's more desirable as well because the screen quality was far improved over the original frontlit version and when you do tend to find it, it's usually considerably more expensive than the regular frontlit version. So my hope is here that this one is the, the backlit version. And the reason I think it might be is if you take a closer look here, you can see this is the frontlit version. I know that 100%, but this one has a much darker screen. And that makes me think, or it's usually quite a good giveaway that it's got the, the backlit LCD installed in it. The other thing as well, the backlit version, the 101, was much more common in the US and if we look at the backs of the systems here, this one is the uh, European version, but this one here, if you look closely, it's a US import uh, and unfortunately we can't tell what the model number is because the flash has kind of glared it out, but it looks like it could be um, the backlit version and well that's my hope anyway. And the, the folks with them, one of them works fine and the one, the US one here isn't holding a charge. So my hope is it's just a simple case of either changing the battery or fixing a fuse. It is a bit of a gamble. I don't know whether or not I've just gone and bought myself two of the less desirable versions of the console at a, an inflated price and one of them isn't even working, but I've got them both here. I've not opened the, the package yet. So let's open this up and we can find out whether or not I've uh, made a mistake. Either way, I'll get these things cleaned up and working again and then sold on. But let's open this up and find out what we've got. Fingers crossed. One. There's two. Okay, so which one to go for first? Yeah, let's open this one. They're well wrapped anyway. That's good. Okay, so this is the the US one. I can see that straight away. I've not been able to see whether or not it's the AGS 101 or not. So let's leave that till last. Just to create a bit more suspense, of course. So this is going to be the European version, isn't it? Made in China, European, yep. Okay, so that looks like it's in reasonably good condition. It is working. Lovely. So, moment of truth, let's turn this one over and find out. It's all scratched up. Um, yeah, so let's have a look what we're dealing with here. It's a 101, excellent. So this is the, the backlit version. Very happy about that. Let's see. So obviously there's my hair <laughs> and the camera, but uh, yeah, nothing at all. So let's get the battery popped out of this and we'll put the, the good one from that in this and see if it makes any difference. It's the bad battery. A good one. And there you go, it works perfectly. The only problem was that the the battery was dud. That's excellent. So 
very happy with that. As you can see, the backlit version has two brightnesses, and uh, yeah, the screen is far more or far brighter than the the regular uh, frontlit version. But yeah, very very happy with that. I do have a plan for this, and um, it's going to involve reshelling it or putting a new uh, aftermarket shell on it. So that's what I'll do next. Instead of just cleaning it up, I think I'm going to put the, a new housing on it. So let's do that. Fast forward about a week and this has now been delivered. This is the replacement housing that I'm going to be fitting to the SP. And I got this one from eBay. It was delivered from China. Only cost me about £4.70. It's a complete kit, so it includes basically everything you'll need apart from the two hinge mechanisms which you need to keep from your original console. But very easy to replace. I've gone for a nice kind of pearl white version here and I won't bore you with the whole process of switching these over I've done a video of that in the past like a step-by-step -step tutorial and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you're interested but otherwise what I think I'll do is I'll maybe just show you the halfway point and then I'll show you the finished product I'm now at the halfway point and I have the console completely disassembled and in parts on the table ready to go into the new shell and didn't take me long to get to this stage only about maybe five minutes so as you can see, you've got all the component parts here ready to go into the, the new housing. And the kit does come with a replacement sticker, which you can see here. I'm not going to be using this one. I'm actually going to reuse the original. I need to lift that using some sort of heat, maybe like a hairdryer or something, and uh, get that onto the new housing. But otherwise, yeah, all ready to go and put everything back together again. That's everything back together again now, and I'm very happy with the result. As you can see, the console now has a nice clean new housing on it. No scratches, no dirt, and I think the white looks really good on the SP. And if I just turn this over, you can see I've also put the sticker on the back there as well, the AGS 101, just to keep it as original as possible. And this one here, I found a replacement battery in my parts box, so I've put that in there, and that's working fine. What I'll end up doing is probably just sell this one on to make some of my money back and I'll keep this one. But yeah, it was a bit of a gamble buying the two of them and not knowing if this one was uh, the AGS 101 or not. But it worked out in the end and I'm really happy with the, the overall result with this new white housing on it. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.